In this question, we have a parallel RLC circuit. We have to find the voltage across any element since it's a parallel RLC at time t equal to 0.1 seconds. Okay. Now we will first find the poles of the system. S1 comma two equal to minus alpha plus or minus root of alpha square minus omega naught square. So where alpha is equal to 1 by 2 watts. Okay. That will be 1 by 2 into 0 0.5 equal to 1. Now if it is a, if it was a case of series RLC then alpha would be 1 by 2 RLC just to remind you. So we are not using in this problem. But if it was a series RLC everything would be the same other than the formula that you make use for determining alpha. Now, omega naught is equal to 1 by root L. It's equal to 1 by root of 0 0.7 with 0 0.70. Now the value of alpha omega omega naught will be the same for either cases, be it a series or parallel case. Now S yes, will be minus 1 plus or minus 0. Okay, so it is a under damped case. Now V of T will be E power minus T because the coefficient here is 1. A cos T plus B sin T. The coefficient of the imaginary part is a frequency. Okay, since it is 1 here, we will have A cos T plus B sin T. Okay, now we have found the response of this system that is the voltage across any end. Now we have to make use of the initial conditions to determine the voltage. Okay, first let us see what the initial voltage will be. When the switch is open at time t equal to 0, the current will not pass through the inductor because the current across an inductor cannot instantaneously take up a different value. Okay, it has to rise or fall gradually. So, at time t equal to 0, the current through the inductor will be 0. Okay, the current through the resistor should also be 0. Okay, this is because if there is a current that is passing through a resistor, then there will be a voltage drop across it. And hence, the same voltage drop would be available across a capacitor. Okay, now we know that the voltage across a capacitor cannot take up a different value suddenly it has to rise or fall gradually like the case of a current in an inductor so the voltage across the capacitor will also be zero and for that to happen there should be no current that will be passing through the resistor so all the current will have to pass through the capacitor okay and the point that is to be noted here is the voltage across all these elements at time t equal to zero will be equal to zero okay so v of zero will be equal to zero so substituting this in this equation, okay, we get A equal to 0. Now V of T will take the form E power minus T B sin. Okay, now we know that current through a capacitor is equal to C D V by D2. So the initial current like I have just explained will be equal to 2. All the current will be passing through the capacitor. So, 2 is equal to minus e power minus t b sin t plus e power minus t b cos t. Okay, now substituting t equal to 0 here, we will get b equal to, now v of t b equal to 2 e power minus t sin t. So, what? Time t equal to 0 0.1, we have a value 0 0.1807 volts. This is the solution.